Hey guys, I uh, want to do a real quick video. Um, I kind of have to do it really quickly uh, because my Samsung Galaxy S6 battery overheats really fast when I'm doing videos, so I can only make this a couple minutes. So, anyway, you're right to it. This video is about the Google Pixel A3 XL I have, and this should apply to most all of the Google Pixel phones. Um, where the problem is that most of us that have them have found out that we cannot uh, there's no video output so after doing tons of research and testing things out and I actually got it to work um, my uh, from what I understand is that there's no um, hardware built into the pixel phone to put output video so you need an external uh, video USB to HDMI or DVI um, adapter that has the chipset, the graphics chipsets built in. And specifically, you need a uh, you need a adapter that says Display Link certified, um, and uh, that will allow you to be able to output video. So. This is an older one, the cheapest one I can find off of eBay. The Display Link ones are not cheap because they do have a graphics chip set built into them. Um, and this uh, model number is BVU195. And it connects through this old school type of USB connection. So that's going into this uh, hub I have here, um, which is a USB-C hub. Um, and this is a part uh, model number of that um, it's a whatever QGM brand um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just uh, show you how this works and in, in order to get a uh, USB I mean um, the adapters to work with uh, the display link thing you have to uh, install this uh, display link presenter app onto your uh, Android phone and then uh, with that installed, then you can um, you can actually see here's a monitor I have here. You can get it to work as soon as you plug that in. And this is going through the hub. You'll get a little pop-up thing from the Display Link app, and you just hit Start Now, and boom, it's mirrored. Plug and play, real simple. So. <clears throat> Um, the next question might be, you know, if you can um, charge the phone, as you can see, the, it's, it's not charging right now. So I have a USB charger here, the one I use normally to charge my phone, and um, USB-C. So I'm going to connect that into the adapter, and this hub that I have has a... Uh, whatever you call it, power or whatever. So you connect that to the hub and then the phone's charging. So you get the whole desktop kind of like whatever um, hub thing working. The mouse scrolls, uh, scrolls through and you know works like, like you'd want it to. Um, the other issue I had was how to get it to orient the the screen here so it would be oriented properly in landscape mode and to do that on this uh, Android version 10 uh, you just uh, tap and hold and then it'll oh, I hit on the app tap and hold on the desktop here image and then go to home home settings and then you go scroll down and there should be yeah allow see where it says allow home screen rotation you just toggle that on and then you're good to go it'll uh it'll rotate like that when you're using it so you can have this this is not the experimental um desktop mode that a lot of us uh or that just came out with android version 10 but it i'll show you that in order to get to that setting you got to go and open up um what do you call it the developer settings in the phone in order to do that you go down go to about phone and then you tap on that on your screen like five times 
on the screen here. Just tap on it five times, it'll open up developer mode. And then after that's opened up, then you can go into, you can go into uh, systems and then uh, advanced. And then you go down to developer options. And then there is a setting way at the very, almost to the very bottom that is, um, it'll say force, where is that at? Forgot now, USB routing, desktop mode. Here, uh, I thought I saw it. Anyway, um, okay, so if you go from the very bottom and you go up just a hair, it says force desktop mode. I have that toggled on. But if you research what desktop mode actually looks like, it doesn't look like this. It looks more like a, a Windows um, 10 with the, with the bar down here and everything. So this is basically just mirrored. Um, and that, this is done through Display Link's um, uh, drivers. And um, it works. So at least we have some way to do this. You know, you can like... You can browse the internet, you can type stuff or whatever, um, use your um, uh, Chrome keeps stopping. I don't know what's going on. Something's goofed up, but uh, it was working. I was messing with some settings, so something happened. But anyway, um, search for contacts. So, I mean, the keyboard works, everything's you know, working fine. You can plug in your speakers to your headphone jack. So you got basically a whole hub. Um, this does work with HDMI. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna just plug the phone. So I put the adapter on here, the DVI to HDMI adapter. Unplug the Xbox. And just plug that cable in like that. And then the, the phone asked me that, and I hit yes, and then I need to go to source, and then boom, should be coming up, should be, hmm. okay, so there it is, it's um, connected, this is a USB-C to usb a or whatever this is, um, normal USB, and then again, it's just going directly into the adapter here, and then that goes DVI to HDMI, and then out to the TV. So, there you have it, it does work, it is possible, you can do it directly. Um, and you just basically, I, I think. There might be a limit of 1080p resolution. Um, I think that's what I was reading on um, on Display Link's website for their their app or whatever the drivers. Um, it only can output from Android uh, 1080p, and I don't I don't know. Maybe it'll go to 4K. I haven't tested that, but if it does, uh, and somebody does test it out, please leave it in the comments so um, we all know. All right, that's it for now, thanks.